carrying on, carrying on in this beautiful wood. I mean, on other visits I've done detailed work on them when I've written them up and done them, presented them with history and everything. Um, talked about the Saxon armies marching along the different battles. I can't remember it all now, so basically it is on YouTube. Um, but today I'm just really having a walk. Whether it was going to be sunny or not, really. I mean, it's always nice to have nice weather, isn't it? You get some beautiful views through the trees here as well. If this had been a hot day, I think this place would be packed. P -p Picnickers, people picnicking. People like to come out into the countryside to eat. <laughs> they don't like, they don't like being cold. Oh, what can I hear? Sounds like horses coming. Oh yeah. Some horses. Oh, brings back memories, that does. Me horse riding. <sighs> yeah. It was only a small period in my life, really. It was when I worked in the mental hospital as a cadet nurse, and it was on the border of Dartmoor, and I used to spend my weekends down the stables, basically, mucking out, grooming the horses, when we got free rides. You've got a two-hour free ride on a Sunday if you work Saturday. <sighs> Mucking out and grooming. Sometimes you, you'd be allowed out on the Saturday as well for an hour. But on Sunday you've got a two-hour. It was lovely. I really I used to take... The hospital used to prepare me a packed lunch for the day. And, um... God, I, I, I really loved all that, you know. I really did. It was a lovely time. Then I joined the Ocean Youth Club, Plymouth. I had quite a good time, really, when I think about it. I had quite a social life. Um, and a healthy one as well, because we used to walk on Dartmoor all the time. And we used to come back to the hospital and have this massive meal in the evening. We, I mean, the thing is, we didn't go out prepared like people do these days. I don't expect we even took a bottle of water, you know what I mean? Or anything to eat. We just used to walk for miles and we'd be thinking, oh, can't wait to get back to our dinner. Well, I expect we might have taken water. I, I don't know if we did. Um, we had some lovely times, though. I had a good, good time there, really. It compens well, it never compensated for loss of your mother. Of course it doesn't. But it was a distraction. Until I met Zora's dad. <laughs> oh dear, not to worry, that's another story. That's another net and I got introduced to alcohol. When I was about 17, 18. I never used to drink a lot actually, or smoke or anything really. Not really. Oh, it's clearing a bit over there now. Ah, oh, things you think about when you're out. Just just those horses brought back that memory then. What's that brought back a memory? This is where those big horned cows come in here and um you can walk up there and go through different places. I'm just sort of enjoying doing this bit at the moment actually. Oh. Be nice if the sun came out though, wouldn't it? I'm just turning off a minute, somebody coming. Yeah. 
I turned off for a minute, some people came. Every time I put the video on, somebody comes. I'll go up this way for a while. Some sheepies in the field there. It's very slow to clear. I mean, I'm afraid it's going to be clear by the time I'm about to leave. That's the thing today. Yeah, that's the thing today. I mean, I said to myself, why don't you do lower hair nap and go back to Holford and then... <sighs> walk back up the glen. I don't know yet. So I don't, I'm not, certainly not rushing this bit. <sighs> Might just make it a, a visit and, a, you know, and that's it today, not overdo it. I'm a bit disappointed because of the weather. Because <sighs> obviously if the weather was nicer I'd be, I'd be even at the hills more, at this end. I won't be thinking of going to Holford. I still probably won't go there. I think I'm just going to enjoy having a lovely steady stroll. Let's see what the time is. It's quarter to twelve. So it's coming up to three hours and forty minutes since I got off the bus. But it's about seven hours since I got up to get ready to come here. Five o'clock in the morning train and bus to get. But it's worth it. I'm not moaning really because that was on that was on Zoom all back there everyone. I always do that, you know. Let's go back over this way a bit now. Yeah, it'll be sunny by the time I leave. No, I don't mind if the bus comes along, if I get a three o'clock or half past three. I don't really mind. I've done this. And like I said, if it had been sunny, and it, I can see the sun coming out down there, by the way, I probably would have roamed around a bit more around the hills here. Which I have done before. It's all been done. You don't even have to walk this path. I deliberately wanted to walk here though. I didn't want to go down there. That would be another trip. When I had Alberta I was coming out all the time. For two years I was coming out at least twice a week to the Quantox. Exploring them all. And loving every single minute of it. Sunny day, off in the van. Yeah, it's very hazy. Such a shame, really. Right, over and out again. Right, we got we had the Triscum stone. Now we've got the Crocum trunk, trunks. Uh, Big Nola. Yeah, a place my sister loved all up round here apparently. That's the road that takes you to Triscum and that is very steep to walk back up that is really steep that way I'm just going to go I thought oh shall I go via the old Dalbra Hill Fort and you know, I thought no it's not the it's turned out really the weather has let me down but I got over here that's the most important thing I'm just going to plod back it's only 12 o'clock, you see. The bit I wanted to really do in 
with beautiful scenery. It's all grey. And the sun's not going to appear till I'll be on the train by the time the sun comes out. It doesn't matter, I mustn't get upset by it. At least I'm out here. I'm don't... <sighs> Any extras would have been done back there on a sunny day. Not this way. <sighs> Any extras would have been back there. What I'm doing, I'm going to head up to Black Hill. Trig point. <laughs> and then... There's another, there's a couple of little things I can look up at on the way actually. There's another sort of um, carn of stones with the plaques that I think are after the trick point up here. I'll go, I'll go and have a look, small diversion that way. And just gently, I mean it's lifted a lot now. No blue sky but it's lifted, the mist has gone. I mean, when I was up at uh, West Barbara End, it was thick mist drifting around. It was pretty in its own way, though. Now, I think I'm quite happy to plod like this. It'll be three o'clock before... It'll be another three hours before I get back. And I think I'll just do that. You know, not going to get home. If I started wandering off now... I'd be, in a way, I'd be under pressure. At the moment, there's no time pressure whatsoever. I don't have to march. I can just wander like this. And the sun is coming out. But I've still got a windproof on and a jumper. Now, when I first got out this morning, it was sunny over Western Supermare. It was blue skies. As soon as I landed over here, everything went grey, but it's lifting now. <sighs> yeah, it might need another visit, yeah. I mean, if there was a decent, put it this way, if there had been a decent bus stop at West Bagborough, but there isn't, it's on a very dangerous road, and I don't even know if they'd see you to stop. Um, I would have, I could have done the circuit and back round on the lower path, but the, the bus stop's not good, it's bad, it's a bad way of doing it. What I can do another time, actually, is start at the Bicknoller end and walk right round it. Now I've worked out the timing, right, now I've worked out the timing. And I realise I can do a circuit, I think. I could do that. Walk this way and back round to put knowledge that way. I think I can. I don't know, you haven't even done one way yet. Uh, I don't know. I mean, I, I was ultra fit even ten years ago. I would march anywhere. Never used to ache. Never used to feel my joints. Nothing. Oh. And I was like, yeah. Oh. That one's seen better days, that tree, isn't it? Right, so folks, we're going down now. And then we're going uphill to the trick point on Black Hill. Over and out. <sighs>